everybody, it's Lori Houston. Thank you for joining me for another leftover paint ring pour. I am a little bit doubtful about these colors. They are really random colors. Um, I didn't have them marked. I've got a, some sort of aqua blue here. This one looks, woo, it's thick. Wow. Might have to add some water. That's almost like frosting. Let me add a tad bit of water to that one. Looks like um, a Payne's Gray, um, maybe. This, let's see. Wow, that's thick. Okay, I need to add a little more water. Okay, looks like a Payne's Gray, and then it looks like I had some leftover gold, very little, and then I had some mm, nice blue, a couple greens. I think this might have been from the picture I did Envy, the canvas. Then I know this is from Firefly. Yikes, Winter Firefly. Then I know this is black with mix in it because there was a peel and stick label on it. Uh, press and seal, I'm sorry. And then this, I believe I mixed up some nebula from this little piggy. Don't quote me on that. It was covered with press and seal. It's what it looks like. It's beautiful. Um, I had all intent, I guess, of using it. So I am going to pick up my lids over here and I'm going to get started. I'm going to get started layering my cup. So I have went ahead, I've got a 20 by 20 canvas, which for some reason this is my favorite size canvas. I absolutely love it. And it is got, I've got the hands off handles and it's already taped. And I am going to layer my cup. I have no idea what I'm going to start with. Um, just because, I guess I'll start with black. I have, as I said, um, this is going to be very interesting. All right. And I'm going to layer them in no random order. And I don't have a lot of colors. Ooh, that had some, some glop in it, so we will be picking that out. That's not cool. Okay, I should have strained it, I guess. Yikes, I have no idea. Let's try a little bit of gold. A little bit of this color here. And I'm going to be daring and use some of this. It's very bright. I'll go back with... Um, Go back with this this one here, if you can see. Okay, go back. I don't know. That had some gloops in it. Choose this one. Okay. Go back with a little bit darker. A little bit of gold. I guess I'll top it off. So I'll top it off with a little bit of this. Hopefully there's not a lot of bump, lump. There was a lump in it. I don't like that. Let me see. Yeah. Got a big lump. Don't like that. Now that is an odd looking cup. So it's going to be interesting to see. I think for my flow extender, I'm I'm going to actually add. Um, this black, get rid of it, and I guess I'm going to add the rest of this. In the center, 
This ought to be interesting. I have to honestly say that the last few um, that I've done have turned out amazing. You know what? I completely forgot. Oh, whatever this is. So we're going to put some on the top. Bummer. All right. Let's get started. I saw a big clump. We'll get them out, though. Weird colors. go. Good one. Looks pretty in the cup though. Get the bubbles out. All right. And I literally am just going to pour some of this around. When I say I'm getting rid of the paints, I mean it. The cup is pretty. Maybe, it, maybe it'll surprise me. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go. Should have enough paint. And I'm just going to slowly move the paint. Move it back to the center. Let's go down this way. center, over here, off and up, let's go this way, off and up, back to the center. The only thing about leftover paints is they're different consistencies because they're from different paintings. So you never know what you're going to get. Ooh, different. All right, let's go off this corner. I do not like that color that's coming out there, but we'll get it. Okay, now let's look. Let's torch. Okay, we're going to go off this, this way. Okay, come back. And we're going to go off this way. And come back. Okay. Go down this way. And we're going to stop. I think I see something in the paint. Let me get my tweezers. Pretty big. Do you believe that? Holy moly. Goodness gracious. I see another one. I know I did. Well, at least I'm seeing them now. Did not strain my paints and I know better. I love this, this blue over here. So let's bring it back. Okay, pretty. Okay, let's go off of this side. Okay, come back. Ooh, it's looking good. Very different. Let's let it tilt, work its way off. Okay, let's take a look at it. Pretty cool. Let's torch. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. I'm just looking at all the, the sides. I like what's going on right in through here and here. This is pretty here, but this is so plain. Um, I don't know. I 
don't know. It's funny how I used a little bit of that flow extender and it's popping through the dark blue, which is really cool. Okay, I'm going to stretch up just a little bit more. There's room. There's there is some paints that can be stretched just a bit. Oh, I'm going to stop. And I saw something in the paint here. God, oh, goodness gracious. That's ridiculous. Um, okay, that's okay. All right. I'm going to go down. I'm going to stretch it this way. Move it just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to stop because I'm liking that. It looks beautiful. I'm going to kind of give a view and get any of the large clumps out. Pretty. I like this a little bit better. Which leftover paints. But that's why I love doing these. It's so much fun. I'm going to try to angle that down and pull this over to the corner and give it a little bit of depth on that side and bring it up very cool I love it I probably am going to play with it a little bit Always strain your paint. And I just bought strainers, these here. I just bought these strainers at Home Depot. They're medium mesh, and it's 95, uh, 99 cents, and you get six of them, which isn't bad, but I didn't use it. Not smart. That's okay. I got it out. That's what matters, but I'm trying to... I love like that wispy look there. There's some gold over here. I'm loving it. I'm just playing around. I got this. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm loving it. Kind of looks has like a marble effect through here. The gold popping through looks really cool. I don't think I'm going to do a thing with it. Very unique. I'll be anxious to um, I'll be anxious to see this when it dries. I will be show sure to show you the dried results because I noticed on my last one that I did. Um, the pink one, it was just stunning when it dried, and I should have waited, I think, for the final dried results. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, thank you so much for joining me and watching me use my leftover paints. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I would love for you to subscribe if you're not a member already of my channel. It really helps my channel grow. And for those of you that already have, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I plan on um, always doing these uh, pours with my leftover paints because I just love it. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, everyone. Thank you again. Please take care. Until next time.